the swapper this is episode two and i just teleported into this facility i think it's some thought of a terminal i can see here it says arrivals and over here it says departures um but apparently the teleport is now offline so I cannot get back so just to recap I am this guy you see here uh, I don't know who I am and I think that is part of the game uh, I am trying to escape this uh, space station that is floating somewhere far away in some solar system and then I have this swapper device that allows me to create clones of myself that will behave in exactly the same way look at this guy when I move he moves when I jump he jumps so let's explore uh, in this way we just encounter a wall so let's go right instead jump up here welcome to space station Theseus the sign says so that is where we are and there is a door here Let's venture through. All right. So here we see a lot of spacesuits similar to the one I am wearing. So I might be the last surviving astronaut or something. Oh, what? It says hello on the screen now. And everything else blurred out. Alright, so was that the stone? Yes, the stone says hello to me. Can I communicate back to the. How do you communicate to a stone? Alright, we'll leave that be for now. Mysterious stone. Pass through this door. Oh. And now we are seeing a different teleport. Probably that can help me to get home. So I'll have to get up there. So I'll continue to the right here. And apparently there are some puzzles ahead. So this hallway is very beautiful, the lights turn up as I pass through them and then there is a ray these rays um, kill my clones and the lift we call the lift and then we just patiently wait here it comes now I can choose to go down or continue right start by continuing right oh well that was a pseudo choice there really wasn't anything to the right so let's instead go down 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 and remember all of you guys watching this to relax this is supposed to be a relaxing ASMR experience sk, sk, sk. I found some video with some girls saying that sound sk, sk, sk. and it just triggered my ASMR I really like that sound it's another stone the limits of language are the limits of knowledge our name was not their knowledge they thought of us 
as watchers. So this stone is talking about some philosophy, the philosophy of language, which actually is a subject that interests me greatly. Um, this is along the lines of um, the early Wittgenstein, um, and they are talking about, the stones are talking about they, somebody who are they, and I suspect maybe that's me and the other humans who have found these stones, and the watchers is maybe the name we gave to them. Oh. All right. I cannot interact with the stones. I'll just continue. Grab objects by facing them and holding E. All right. So this is very straightforward kind of puzzle. Probably I can also push this crate. I can. So now I have constructed stairs so that I can walk like this. Excellent. Oh, I'm getting quarantined. They have closed the doors and they are spraying me with some sort of anti-contamination thing, I guess. Right. We travel upwards to this yellow room with this big orb very interesting. Let's see, we have this door, and this door, and this door. We'll name them A, B, and C, and we will take them in alphabetical order. So, I come to this room. It's lit, uh, it looks a little bit like some Tetris stuff. So my first guess is I cannot jump up here. And I want the orb over here, of course. I cannot make a clone up there. So I'll have to make a clone here. Now I can shoot that clone, thereby transferring my soul. <laughs> which is a weird concept. Into the clone. Okay, and how do I proceed from here? I can make a, okay, I can make a clone here, but I cannot transfer myself into him. But what I can do is that I can just walk forwards until he comes down here. And now when I walk backwards, I should be able to transfer myself into him like this. Press E to interact with the memory terminal. Should I do this before or after I acquire the orb? I think I will do this first. So this is a log file from Theseus Quarantine. So this part of the base has apparently been quarantined. Maybe it has to do with uh, the stones that they found. It is, after all, as we can see here, an excavation site. Let's say it says, I'll try to do this ASMR. The chief of quarantine understands the pressure this puts you under, but stresses that these rock samples are of unparalleled science. As such, we must request that you continue to prioritize sample teleport over personnel. Wow. 
So they found these stones and then they really actually um, they teleported them out before they teleported the humans out even though they knew there were some danger present that is really harsh alright this is a little ominous but let's go pick up that orb it's here Monogon Orb Acquired Check the navigator hmm. well, We have plenty more places To go So we exit this room After having successfully acquired the orb And now we take room B Create a clone on this plateau Transfer our soul into him and then enter this room oh here are many more stones interesting let's see it says to me the world is the limit of thought the limit of thought is the chain of the chain of heroes like me i cannot speak if they cannot listen um so it says that the world is the limit of thought and the stone before said that uh, language was the limit of thought mm. it's like they uh, they read some early wittgenstein and then some later wittgenstein and then maybe got it a little confused or something uh, the limit of thought if is the chain of heroes like me so the stone describes itself as a hero that is part of a chain probably with the other stones and it cannot speak if they the other heroes cannot listen so maybe the chain has been broken. Oh, there's another stone. What is where? How is where? Does where tick? Does this stone say? And uh, this is of course in line with the um, philosophical musings. The other stones has um, been producing because as a stone, um, it doesn't have any senses, I guess. So, in order to understand a, the concept of where, you need to understand the concept of space. And in order to understand the concept of space, you, has, you have to have some senses to uh, give you data that you can interpret as being space. Uh, that's how I tentatively will um, interpret what this stone is saying. Let's see, there is a last stone here. We know only of the minds in our chain. You choose your chain in a dimension we do not know. Hmm. So, it might actually be talking to me specifically. So it might be able to connect with my mind, even though it doesn't understand that I occupy um, a spatial dimension. This is probably what it's talking about when it's talking about the dimension it does not know. <coughs> hmm. All right, let's see what... Oh, that was it. There is nothing more here. Okay, so these stones form some sort of chain and they are always saying the same thing and they might be connected to me. So 
this idea of these stones uh, being like a chain of consciousness ties pretty well into the swapper device this swapper gun that I have here that I can form a chain of clones and then swap my consciousness through them like a chain I can interact with the console here oh disengage the quarantine now so I can move forward but I will check what I have named room C first we see some sofas and a new room okay so we have two buttons and a crate and my guess would be that the two walls we see up here are somehow tied to these two buttons. So probably I will have to lift those two walls in order to get to the third button we see in here. And then that will make it possible for me. Yes, because I need to get over here in order to get acquire the orb um, and I cannot transfer my soul through the red light I can only build the clone so I will have to push all the buttons to probably turn the red light off to get to the orb alright so if I do this and can I can I um, I can't get in there oh so this button opens this door so I will of course just make a clone here take this crate now this clone is trapped between the doors so I will just take the crate to the second button and now the guy will go in so he's on the button I can make a clone here yeah this is really rewarding to to solve these puzzles I really must say that this game is excellently designed so far uh, I'll just create a clone to get back up I have acquired three orbs and I will return to this area down here where I now should be able to pass through uh, because the quarantine has ended so cargo quarters and waste management is what is this way so it makes sense that the quarters where the people were living um, was the th place that was quarantined Hmm, there is a hull breach in Sector 1. I hope that I am not in Sector 1. I will go into this room. I will make a clone down here. I'm not sure I can survive the, the fall. Okay, I will. There is a very deep sort of abyss here, uh, and I cannot see the bottom, bottom of it, so I'll just have to 
make a clone mid-air and shoot my soul into it and then hope that I will be close enough to the bottom, bottom to not die from a fall damage. So I'll make a clone here. Oh, Whew. I survived. Okay, I can go down here to the gardens, it says on the sign, but I think first I will explore the room. There is a terminal. Oh, it's a memory terminal. terminal. Um, it's a lock of the cargo. It has... Uh, four tons of food, about, what is that, 197 days, at full crew complement, there is order, uh, miscellaneous research equipment, spare parts, and then, um, Sino samples and finds 432, right, interesting. Oh, there's another guy. There is a different guy here now. Interesting. So I am not alone. I just saw a different guy floating uh, at some floor below me somewhere. Um, and I am, appear to be in the greenhouse and it makes sense that they would need a greenhouse uh, to produce oxygen maybe tomatoes <laughs> okay I need six encryption orbs to access this console and I only have three so let's travel down 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 sk, sk, sk. oh there's a lot of planes here this must be greenhouse. Let's go through this door. Another stone. I am the one that believes in the other dimension. I call it space. One moves through space. Yes, how? Is what the stone is telling me. And it appears that my original interpretation was correct because this stone believes in the spatial dimension which is funny to us because we cannot even imagine there not being a spatial dimension like one of my favorite uh, philosophers Kent Immanuel Kent he said that um, that space is I don't know the English word because I read it in German, but he said that um, um, space is a way of thinking. It is one of the like tools, if you will, that we use to understand the world. Uh, so space and time, for instance, are tools that we sort of drag down over the world. And it's very interesting from a philosophical point of view that if you were to have a conscious stone like this one right here, it wouldn't really understand space. But this somehow, this stone got an idea that there might be such a thing as space. It's very interesting. Maybe it got this idea from... Uh, interacting with humans in some way. Um, there's a big arrow upwards here. I'm not sure how to get up there, so I'll continue left for starters. Mm -hmm. We are still in the greenhouse. Oh, this is interesting. There is down here is an encryption orb and I need to get up here and down here and then get the encryption orb. So if I make a I cannot make a guy. 
but I can shoot the soul beam through this gap, but I cannot make a guy. So probably I will have to make a guy up here. And then um, when I move forward, he will fall down. I can then, and there is enough fall damage to kill him. So I will have to be very fast, shoot the soul beam through, hit him on his way down, make a clone in here, and shoot the soul beam in there. I have to be very quick. Let's give this a go. Nope. Not fast enough. Oops. I died. Press space. Okay, I get to try again. Make a guy. with my skills at this so far. Make a guy, jump over the cliff. Okay, I should be, I should prepare myself a little better. Aim the gun. Oh, oh this is very useful. I just noticed that press space. It really has a thing with the space this game. Anyways, I just noticed uh, that time slows down when I uh, when I make these clones. That is very useful. But that is very useful. Now I have four encryption orbs. And I will have to get back ups. There is some chatter on the radio. Can't make out what they're saying. <laughs> I can travel around like this. <laughs> that's, that's very interesting. So probably I can use this method to go up here. Yes. Very nice. So I just shoot clones up in the air, transfer my soul into them, then make a new clone and so on and so forth. Okay, come to a new room. Hmm. Okay, when I press this button, one wall comes down and another wall comes up. And if I make a guy here, he just falls down and dies. Exactly how am I supposed to get over there? Is it something that I make? Is it like I put myself here and then make a clone? Um at the last possible moment and then just shifts around from one side to another. Um, until... Maybe it is. So I... 
have two clones left and not a lot of time I must admit but uh, it looks like this will work now hopefully No, no, I failed. <laughs> okay, now the game is, is very forgiving in that it just lets me try again. Okay, so we wait to the last possible moment. also fall down and die so gives me additional clones I can have so that's very good so I don't really have to rush at all I'll just make a new guy like this and then just wait like these puzzles are it's very much like portal in more way more ways than one Mono orb. Uh, of course, it's like portal in that you have this device that alters the rules of uh, physics uh, that you need to solve puzzles. But also, the puzzles are easy enough to make to give like a flow, like you can flow through the game. But they are hard enough that you get a real sense of sense of satisfaction you solve them. Let's see if there is some interesting stuff down here. Right. Going into some darkness. And I found a memory terminal. Let's see what it says. I uh, unlocked an achievement message from home. We have received your response, Theseus. Glad to hear you've arrived in one piece. Oh, so Theseus is a person. Maybe it's me? I don't know. That shuttle should be with you in approximately two weeks. We've had responses from three of the other long-range stations and are waiting on confirmation from the remaining three. Everyone back here is lo looking forward to hearing of your progress. So there is somebody called Theseus. And there is a shuttle um, that should be here in two weeks. Uh, and I don't know how old this log is, unfortunately. Uh, but maybe if this shuttle has arrived, I can use it to exit this place. Okay, so let's go back and teleport, not really teleport, but soul beam up here, and I have five encryption orbs now. <laughs> I must say it's a pretty um, gruesome affair that I'm just killing my original self over and over again. But I guess that's the nature of this game. So I am searching for the last um, encryption orb. I'm going up here. Um, Maybe I already 
have? No, I need one more. If there is something up here, yes. We are still in the gardens. It looks a bit overgrown, maybe it has been forsaken for some time. I can go, let's call these a for the top one and b for this one and let's get some information from this memory terminal it might prove useful this is log 6 emergency evac 1 few areas of the station remain habitable blah. yeah that's a word <laughs> habitable blah, blah, blah. Uh, the cargo bay in sector 1 has everything we need, food and water, yes. I actually, uh, I saw the log for what, what they had. Uh, greenhouse access, but it may not be safe for long. No one knows what's causing this. And then it signed somebody called Sam Cook. So if something is wrong on this space station and they prioritized sending the uh, the stones teleporting the stones away before the humans but where have all the humans gone and what is wrong it's a little bit creepy now i enter this room and we have another puzzle so this thing here this button turns on or off this red light. So I can make this guy. Then he can go here. Then I can make a guy here. And here. Ah, oh, just. So that was not too hard. Let's go and find that memory terminal. Oh well, actually we should go in here first. What's this? Now oh, there's yellow light. No, not yellow, purple. And there's a... Is it safe? So this right here turns off the blue light and the blue light is is the thing I cannot make a clone up here and I cannot make a clone in the purple light oh purple is probably both red and blue that makes purple the color of love as Saigon put it so I cannot do anything in here. So can I maybe? Oh, there is a there is a beam here. I wanted to go back here, create a clone here, and then walk up here. So I would be here when the clone reached the button, and then I could make a clone up here. Maybe I can do the same like this. And if I move forward now, I won't be able to get out, shoot myself out. So I'll have to make a clone now here and then continue. Okay, that was not too hard. Let's go here. Now we have seven. Nice. And let's go to that terminal. I love the atmosphere in this game. It's just absolutely beautiful. You can watch like the space outside. There's some planet there and this forsaken space station is it's very ambient, 
very beautiful I must say. So now I have sufficient um, sufficient uh, encryption ops to unlock or decipher this memory terminal. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. So this was not a memory terminal. It was, it activated some sort of transport system. So what happens? Okay. It just, uh, it's just a sort of transporting thing. And it's very fast, and I'm going somewhere. Whoop. So now I'm here. Let's see. I am making some progress. <gasps> There's another person. How did you get back here? Why are you following me? Look, it's too late now to apologize. Just let me go. I, I didn't didn't get to answer. It was a woman, so it wasn't uh, the same cook from the memory terminal. And I think she was the one who sent me into space. She asked how I got back here, so she didn't want me to get back. And she asked why I'm following her. <laughs> I get up there there is a wall so probably um, we will need to open this I can go this way and then return this way but maybe I can defeat this through the this no mm, no what is no I cannot. So I'll go this way. I want to put somebody up there. <laughs> right, because I am being pressed by the beam towards this wall, I can actually control this guy up here because he uh, he moves as I would have moved that's it's very clever this game it really is very clever there is a console okay let's see I can get back easily now and we have a new stone why does the other mind scream inside? I don't know. I don't know what the other mind is. Is it my mind it's talking about? Or some other mind? Somebody is in pain, that's for sure. Screaming inside. I can go up here. beautiful music and uh, now I can choose a variety of ways wow it is getting complex now I think uh, I think I'll end here for today um, because there are too many <laughs> ways I can go I'll have to relax my brain a little bit and also get some food. Um, 
But before I finish, I would like to thank my patrons, as always, uh, Suffolk Blue, Stuart Gilbert, and now also Ryan, who um, pledged $30 so uh, and asked for me to analyze one of his games, which of course I will do, chess games that is. And uh, he also uh, asked to play me, so um, I uh, proposed that we could combine the two. So I play him uh, and record also for you guys, uh, and then uh, I will later analyze uh, one of the games of, of his choosing. So I'm really looking forward to that, uh, and I hope that you will watch along. Um, and also thank you to the patrons that have chosen to be anonymous. And thank you to all you other guys who support me with your likes and your kind comments and all of this stuff. It really inspires me and motivates me to keep on going. Um, questions and comments on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much.